Welcome to Universe Live. I'm Hassan El Sheikh. And I'm Lynette McConkie. Here are your top five stories for Wednesday, February 15th, 2023. A small plane makes an emergency landing on Bangor Highway in South Jordan. Police say the plane landed safely on the northbound lanes. No one was hurt in the incident, and there was not damage to the aircraft, road, or other vehicles. A new bill aims to dismantle the Unified Police Department, and the Salt Lake County Sheriff is concerned. Sometimes your hand is forced and you have to make the right decisions. House Bill 374 would dissolve county police, requiring cities to create and manage their own departments. BYU email will be the exclusive email for students, faculty, and staff this spring. The change will align the university with federal regulations like FERPA and help improve security. My.byu.edu is also getting a facelift beginning on February 28th. The simplified, customizable version of the website will be live. Preview the updated design at my-noob.byu.edu. Utah is the 10th most educated state in the nation. That's according to Wallet Hub's 2023 ranking for most and least educated states. Rankings were based on percentage of high school and college diplomas and work income. The projects BYU students in the animation program work on take months or even years to complete. Trevor Myers takes us to the animation studio on campus for an early behind-the-scenes look at a new project. Yes, so I'm here in what has been dubbed the animation hallway of the Talmadge building. And as you can see, it is lined with posters of famous animated films that have been worked on by BYU alumni in the past. Now, I was able to get a sneak peek at a project that students are working on now. Dad, you know? He's like there. The latest project is titled Student Accomplice. The story follows a young girl who runs into some trouble on her driver's test. Trouble in the form of a bank robber hijacking her car. Director Spencer Baird says this project is different from what animation students have done in the past. The amount of hours that, that people have dedicated to this project already is kind of staggering. Several teams of students are working on the project. They're working on animating everything, from the characters' faces to the city backdrop to the cars in the city. What I'm working on is how this project's based in a city and so and there's a car chase going on and so the environment is a bit dynamic in that way and it's kind of changing. Reed is working on a tool to create a large number of new cars without the animators having to design each one individually. While students have already spent an impressive amount of time on this project, the team is going to spend a lot more on it. Baird says the film is set to be finished by April or May of 2024. My favorite thing about the animation process um, is probably how collaborative it is. Um, I like being able to work together with everyone. I guess it really is true what they say, that teamwork makes the dream works. Reporting for Universe Live in Provo, I'm Trevor Myers. That's awesome. Thanks, Trevor. I'm excited to see how the project turns out. Thanks for joining us today for Universe Live. Have a great day.